The Supreme Court has given the Electoral Commission up to the 29th of this month to submit the full list of persons on the electoral roll who registered with NHIS cards. The court also ordered the commission to put into writing steps and modalities it will use to ensure the full compliance of the judgment issued on May 5. Former People's National Convention PNC National Youth Organizer Abu Ramadan and Evans Nemakon went back to court to seek clarification to the May 5 judgment which according to the plaintiff's interpretation ordered the Electoral Commission to delete names of persons who registered with the NHIS card. In this submission, counsel for the plaintiff Nana Santi Bediatu argued the orders of the APS court to the Electoral Commission were clear and could not have attracted a different interpretation from the commission. He said persons who registered with the NHIS card do not belong to the voters' register because they do not properly register as voters. The Chief Justice George Nawood, who chaired the five-member panel, said the judgment gave out laid-down principles to clean up the register but did not state specifically the Commission must delete names of persons who register with the NHIS cards without recourse to the Constitution. She further stated the judgment should be carried out without disenfranchising any voter who therefore required the EC to re-register affected people. The court sought to find out from the Council for the Electoral Commission the procedure it is used Using to comply with the orders of the court by making sure the voters' register is cleaned. That your sorry failed to spell out exactly what is being done to get the electoral commission to go to the polls with clean and credible electoral register. George Namankwa and Suli Amadou, both deputy commissioners of the Electoral Commission, who were present during proceedings in response to the question of the justices, said the commission is in the process of deleting names of multiple registrants and will also use the opportunity at the exhibition to clean the register. This did not go down well with the judges, who insisted the orders of the court supersedes any other thing and the judgment should have been the first thing the commission should have considered. The chief justice urged the lawyers to seek the interest of the nation rather than their clients. The judges said they will not allow anyone to plunge the country into chaos and will make sure the right thing is done. Sitting resumes on June 30.